shoot. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mack. And, um, shoot, now that I ain't got people in the house, I can let loose. Turn my mic down. It looks like it's high enough. I hope y'all can hear me. But anyway, so today's episode, um, like I got a TV show or something. Let's talk about Tom Brady. Tom Brady has called it a career. Now, I know for me personally, you know, I grew up, I'm, I don't hate Tom Brady. Okay. I don't hate Tom Brady. I just think he was the beneficiary of a great system. And I've always been the guy who's, who's been like quarterback is relative to the team. If you have a great team, your quarterback will play well. You know what I mean? If you have a well-coached team, your quarterback will play well. That's just what I believe. You know, and and unfortunately, there are a lot of people who don't believe that. But people who really know, you know, how to evaluate and how to team build understand that. Look at Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford did not win a playoff game in Detroit ever. And he had Megatron. Well, he gets to he gets to the Rams and the man is in the Super Bowl. So are we going to discredit Matthew Stafford as a great quarterback because he's benefiting from a great team? Some people will. I'm not going to do it. He was a great quarterback in Detroit. His team just sucked. And Detroit, sorry, Sam, did not do a great job of building a great team for him to thrive in. It's that simple. It's that simple. So I don't, I'm not going to sit here and so I'm not going to sit here and say Tom Brady was a, was a, was only as good as the team he had, but the man was very lucky to have the greatest coach ever to constantly have a great defense, you know? And um, I think what a lot of people, and let's not forget, Tom Brady was not the type of quarterback that was going to throw 40 passes for 400 yards and four or five t- t- touchdowns. That's that, it's not what he did. he did. He did that in 2007 with Randy Moss, but... That was never Tom Brady's game. Tom Brady was the guy, you know, for lack of a better term, he was the LeBron James of the NFL. He always, Tom Brady was always going to put the team in the best position to win. He was always going to make the the correct play. So this notion that he's the greatest quarterback of all time. I mean, yeah, he probably, he, he'll go down as the greatest winningest quarterback, but to sit here and act like he was the greatest quarterback athletically to sit here and ha- sit here and act like he was the greatest quarterback mechanically, like all around. No, he was just a great quarterback and he did what he did very well to the team. Now, I'm not going to knock him for having those Super Bowl losses because he went to the freaking Super Bowl like, what, 10 times, I think? So, you know, and maybe that's what motivated him. Maybe that's what motivated him because if you really think about it, the best team, the best seasons that he had, he lost those Super Bowls. The best seasons that he had, he lost those Super Bowls. Isn't that kind of weird? Isn't that kind of weird? The best seasons he had, I think he lost those Super Bowls. Or he didn't even go. It seemed like the seasons where Tom Brady was like that dude, the Patriots didn't play well. Hmm. It almost makes you think quarterback play isn't that important but then you have Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs clearly couldn't win games without 
Patrick Mahomes playing well. I don't know. I have to look into that. But Tom Brady has called it a career. He's gonna first he's gonna be first ballot Hall of Famer. Um <laughs> I was joking with somebody. I said they're just gonna the whole Hall of Fame is just gonna be Tom Brady because they treat him like he's just the greatest thing ever. Um but I I stand I stand by the notion he plays with twenty one other guys. And 11 of them don't even play on the same field with him. You got to have a great team. There are a lot of quarterbacks that are never going to get their shine for being great simply because maybe their defense sucked. Maybe they weren't given the ample opportunities with an offense. and Or, or even the coaching was horrible. You know, look at, I mean, you got, Tom, you not Tom. Um, you got Tony Romo. You got Dan Marino, Jim Kelly. I think well, the the Buffalo Bills just the NFC East was just their kryptonite. I think if they had played anybody else in those Super Bowls, they probably would have won. But the NFC East just had their number. Um, Dan Fouts. Um, Boomer Esiason. I mean, these are these were great quarterbacks, but they never, they never got to where they needed to get to, to uh, be great. You know, Archie Manning. Archie Manning was like from from the stories that I've heard about Archie Manning, it was him, and that was it. That's all the New Orleans Saints had was Archie Manning, and that was it they ain't have anybody else so it you know it just it is what it is we have to respect these quarterbacks we have to do well and respect these quarterbacks the NFL is hard it is a team game and it's very hard and we have to do better in helping um get these quarterbacks you know to to do well if you will but um yeah, shout out to Tom Brady. He called it a career. Let's see who the next. I mean, everybody's everybody's looking at Patrick Mahomes. I think Joe Burrow is going to be the next Tom Brady ish quarterback. That quarterback, as long as he's in the game, you just you just you just think he's going to pull it out. Because this is the crap he was doing in college. That I, to this day, that LSU season that he had was just magnificent it's magnificent he he was doing things that season I was like if LSU doesn't win this championship something is seriously wrong dude was dude was all-time great but um that's it for me man Tom Brady has called it career first ballot hall of famer and it's not even close um do I think anybody's going to come close to what he's done? It's going to, if somebody does, it's going to be a very, very, very long time. And by that time, football is going to be seven on seven. They're not even going to let you tackle anymore. But, um, I, you know, I'm saying that and I'm joking, but it is the NFL. So, anyway, it's your boy, Billy Mac. Thank y'all for uh, watching the video. Please like, subscribe, share. Um, help me get my views up, uh, support never And, um, I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.